Hey guys, for phonics and language today, I want you to practice phonics charts 10 and 11. Make sure you do it out loud, repeat it to someone or to yourself in the mirror, some way that you're actually continuing to practice it. Then come back and watch this video. So today's phonics and language video lesson is actually just review because our worksheet is just review. I'm just gonna go over the things that are on our worksheet and not do anything extra. So if you look at your phonics and language page, it says um, page 265. The first section says mark the sentences. So what you're gonna do is split the sentence between subject and predicate, underline the subject once and the verb twice. So I'll give you an example and uh, show you what you're gonna need to do. So let's think of a sentence. Mom. likes to eat chocolate ice cream. Oops. Ice cream. Okay. Mom likes to eat chocolate ice cream. Who's the subject? Who or what is the sentence about? It's about mom. I'm going to underline it once. Then what is mom doing? She likes. So I'm going to underline that twice. And I'm going to split my sentence between subject and predicate. Easy peasy. That's what you need to do for all the sentences in section one. There are one, two, three, four, five sentences. Section two says write the abbreviation for each word. I'm going to do one for you that's not on here. If it said, this is section one, this is section two. If it said, Mr., I would write M R. The two important things about abbreviations, they have capital letters and they have periods at the end. Don't forget those things. They're very important when it comes to abbreviations. Section three, Read the sentences, circle the correct word to finish the sentence. All of these sentences have words that are homonyms. They sound the same, but they mean different things. They're spelled differently. So choose the correct one. Another one, a homonym that's not in this set, but that we um, practice a lot are the words to, to, and to. This is a connecting word. This is the number two, and this means too much or also. It could mean either one of those things. So read the sentence, look carefully at the spelling because both words sound the same. So look closely at the spelling and decide based on the words in the sentence which word you're gonna circle in parentheses. Then we have dictation. Dictation, you're gonna write a whole sentence. So remember, when we write sentences, we always start with a capital letter and we end with a, a punctuation. So a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Listen carefully to my sentence. The lawnmower, that's all one word, made an awful sound. Again, the lawnmower made an awful sound. I'll read it one more time. The lawnmower made an awful sound. Okay, if you need to rewind this video to listen to it again, you can definitely do that. Pause it and go back. I'm going to move forward with the direction. So on the back, on page 266, section one, visitors to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park can take a hayride. Circle the word that is the opposite of the red word on each bale of hay. So you're going to circle the opposite. <clears throat> there are three words to choose from. You're circling the opposite of the red word. So let's say... 
Okay, that's the front, here's the back. Let's say the red word was up. I want the opposite of up. I'm going to circle the word down. That's all you have to do. You just circle that word. That's the opposite of what it says. You have five of those little blocks to do. Then section two, section two says, Klingman's Dome is the highest point in the Smoky Mountains. The steep hike to the top is about one half mile long. Look at the picture. Imagine that you are there. Make a list of nouns to, that you see. Make a list of the verbs or actions that you see or do. Make a list of the adjectives that describe the nouns you see. So you're gonna fill in nouns, verbs and adjectives of things you see or do if you were there in that picture. So think very carefully. Nouns, person, place, or thing. Person, place, or thing you see in that picture if you were in that picture. Verbs, per, um, actions, things that you can do if you were in that picture. Adjectives, things that describe the things that you would see in that picture. I want you to do um, I want you to do at least two words in each column. If you want to do more, that's great, but I want at least two words in each column. So two nouns. Of, from you imagining you're in that picture to verbs you imagining in that that you're in that picture and two adjectives of you imagining you you imagining yourself in that picture and that's it for phonics and language let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later bye